Sonora has more maquilas than brokers and needs an estimated 2,000 workers to fill all vacancies. Several days later, we returned to Nogales, Arizona to talk about labor shortages with Wendy Molina, president of the Maquila Association in Nogales, Sonora. Well, the maquiladora industry, uh, we have 107 uh, factories, uh, different manufacturing plants uh, located in the city. Uh, we have around 43,000 employees. Uh, this means uh, that we are employing uh, around 70% uh, of, the, of the citizens, of the people living in Nogales, depend on the, on the industry. These companies represent how many different countries? Well, uh, mainly from the U.S. These are our, our mainly factories, uh, their headquarters are from the U.S., but there's also European companies, and there's also uh, from Switzerland and from China. From the 32 states, in 21 states, we have Maquiladora. It's not only at, at, at the border cities, no? So Maquiladora has been expanding uh, very much, and it's the first uh, exportation uh, for Mexico. It's the number one exportation uh, for Mexico going to the United States. So the industry has been growing a lot, and it's a high priority for the country to maintain and, and keep attracting the industry uh, maquiladoras in the different states of, of the country. For the border, it's very, very important. It's the first uh, way of, uh, is the economic, uh, the priority economic uh, for the government as well, the high priority in, in the economic development for the cities. Mm -hmm. And it's on track to continue the growth this year? Yes, it is on track. Uh, well, we have been seeing uh, a little bit uh, that it is on hold because of this uh, labor situation and other things that are, are developing in the country. But in general, I see, as, as the president of the Maquila Association, I do see some uh, interest in investors coming to Nogales. Mm -hmm. There are a large number of Central Americans who are making their way north. Mm -hmm. What's the likeliness of any of these individuals working in places like these factories? Mm -hmm. It is likely. I mean, the, for example, in, in the Baja California, in Tijuana, they are employing already 1,500 uh, people, immigrants, and uh, these people, uh, first of all, they need to uh, comply with the legal immigration uh, policy in Mexico. Uh, after they comply, they can be candidates to be employed in the industry. The industry needs to make sure that they pass all the, the, uh, the process. I mean, they have to be interviewed, they have to accomplish and, and comply with the requirements of the company. Not all the companies have the same requirements. And after they are uh, good with their uh, requirements, uh, they are candidates to be a part of that industry. As I understand it correctly, there is still a need to fill some spots in maquiladoras here in Nogales, Sonora. Like there is a, a need. I mean, we saw plenty of signs advertising openings. Mm -hmm. Right now we have uh, 2,000 uh, vacants. The different companies, uh, one of the good news no, is that these are due to growth. It's not because they don't find the people. Uh, we ended the year of 2000, 2018 with uh, good, uh, a good group of people. Uh, right now, uh, based on the information that we have from the managers and the directors of the different companies, is that uh, they are planning growth for this year and they are preparing their men.